So let's talk about the last couple of days and um, try and speed things up a bit. This is Just Eat, which may well rebrand over the top of um, Skip the Dishes. Canadians might like, might prefer that. I think it's a be better model. Um, anyway, we won't talk about DoorDash because we haven't got it basically. But back from holiday, things were, were looking up actually yesterday. Um, 8.45, I'm not sure about the exact um, maths. No one can work the maths out for Just Eat. Is it 5 miles? 8.85, 5.3. Three point eight miles, only about a pound less, you know. For and, uh, Caspers, we've had a lot of variety here as well. We have the ice cream place, the Caspers, twice the Caspers, yeah, another another one. The first one was Caspers actually. Yeah, KFC, American wings, again good mileage. That's probably what you get. But you can get a shorter one. As long as the food's ready, I suppose it, you, that's where the, you lose the money, I would say. I mean, mileage is the same, you know. If you do a, sh do a short, lots of short ones or long ones, the mileage is going to be sort of effectively the same. You're paid the same mileage, aren't you, really? But as long as the food is like, like a quick pickup. Cause that's why sometimes I think I'd aim to do longer ones ideally. So it's funny because that's 4.2 and I'm sure that sometimes that was a pound more for the same mileage. So these, the maps is crazy, you know. But as someone did say, or a few people have said, I think there is some algorithm where it depends how much food there is. Um, and... Um, if it's a bigger order, like if it's a £50 order, then you get a slightly better percentage of the food. Because, you know, obviously you're making a lot of money. If you're selling fish and chips for four people, you're, you're only charging the customer £2.50 to deliver that whole order for four people. So you've no tip. Obviously, you can't, you know, a lot of people don't. Well, there's no information on any tip in. I don't think there's even a facility to tip in the UK version of Just Eat. And people don't tend to give you even one pound cash tips. Um, so I think it must be a restaurant subsidy. But if you're still selling four fish and chips, and you know, it can come with a few drinks and maybe an ice cream, it can come to over 50 pounds, you know. Um, and to give a driver, like, three or four pounds just seems just like too low for something it could take you know, you've got to wait for the food and stuff it could take half an hour plus if it's quiet you know things can take an hour so i mean we we only got you know I mean, if you look at one day and that was with an extension so i think i did four in the afternoon till 10 so that's nearly six hours but I did, um, it dried up, it can happen, if just eat, can dump here, usually about 9 o'clock. So what you've got to do, I mean, every area is different, I'm just saying quickly, not a long video. So for the last sort of hour, what I tend to do is my new routine, since Christmas really, because there's too many people... Yeah, that was today. We want to go yesterday, really. Yesterday, about the same. One, two, three orders, which is more than an hour, actually. I think it was like nothing. I might have gone back and done one for just eat. So that was quite good, wasn't it, really? About six hours, about 